Time Chats with Chassis Crazy Creations. Thank you for being here today. We are going to be making a, um, just taking a TV tray and upcycling it and you'll be able to personalize it. I'll give you some tips along the way on how you will be able to personalize it as we go. So as we get started here, again, I'm just using a TV tray and this one happens to be wood, but you are able to use any kind of TV tray you want. I have done this to metal ones and um, they have other ones that are cardboard and different things too. So what I've got to start with is um, Dixie Bell's paint and this is their Bunker Hill Blue and it's their um, chalk mineral paint. Here you want me to get closer. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to be doing a special technique with this today and I'll be telling you why um, as we get started. So. I will be asking some questions along the way as well. So this is just a Dixie Bell um, chip brush as well. You can use a sponge. They have Dixie Bell sponges that are pretty great too. So you're gonna just start by painting it on. And again, um, they usually recommend a damp brush to get started. And a little paint goes a long way. In fact, I think I am on I did the sign that's behind me, which you probably can't see right now. I did that with this paint. I've done um, a terracotta soldier with this paint. I feel like I did a couple other projects with this paint and I'm still going. I mean, if you look inside there, it's maybe, maybe almost halfway, but not quite. Okay, in the comments, please tell me where you're watching from. I'd love to hear where you're all watching from. I am in Fort Collins, Colorado. I don't think I've said that yet today. This will hopefully get on my website tomorrow in terms of the finished product. Because as you know, I always get started and then I have to finish part of it afterwards because you just have dry times and different things that you have to wait for. So... We put our blo my blog up there, so if in case you're interested in checking it out, you're welcome to. All right, now as I wanna point out, I'm going one direction right now, side to side. We'll call that side to side. This paint is also leveling, self-leveling. So it will level itself out. And then it is also um, water-based, which is big for me because I tend to make a mess when I paint. All right, while that dries, I'm going to catch the edges here. Is anybody telling us where they're watching from? Not currently. Okay. <laughs> well, always drop them in the comments. Even if you end up watching this after I'm done with the show, um, please go ahead and drop it in the comments. I do read the comments later. Ask questions if you have questions. Um, I will do my best to answer them. Um, okay, you'll notice even though my team did not so great this year, I'm wearing my uh, Broncos shirt. Um, what I am doing for this TV tray today is I am going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a sports theme. This gift is um, gonna be for somebody who's a sports fan, so I will be personalizing it with that. But you will be able to paint and color it to a person uh, to personalize it for someone else who you, you know, might want to make something like this for. And again, we're gonna go over a lot of options, but this first one is paint. Now, what I'm making with this right now, we are gonna turn this this part of the table is gonna be turned into something. So if you just want it to be a, just an upcycle TV tray and you're not gonna do what I'm gonna teach you to do with it, that's okay. You might only need two coats of paint. So again, I'm just going around, giving it its first coat of paint, and I'm hoping, Dixie Bell drives really fast. That's another reason I kinda of like it. If you want it to go slower, then um, you can add a little water so you buy yourself a little bit more time, but, um, I like it because it dries pretty fast. Um, usually you want about an hour dry time between your coats. So we're going a little sped up today. Uh, and one thing I can always do is, um, which I think I will do really fast, 
is you can use a blow dryer if you need to speed up the process. So I just, we have to get three layers on this for what we're doing today. So let's just go ahead and give it a little bit of a dry to speed it along. It's really interesting, you can totally tell when it's drying too because it just changes color. So it's really easy to tell whether you've gotten enough on or not, or if it's dry. I don't know if you guys can see that or not online, but it's pretty slick when that happens. Do I need to move something? It was just the cord that's staying in my edges. So oh, the cord hitting it, so yeah. I'm getting paint on my hair dryer? Yeah, that's all I was going to Okay, so it. I've done it one direction, side to side. Now we're going to do it up and down for our second coat. And we're going to need three coats. Again, if you were only going to use this as an upcycled TV tray, then you could just do probably one to two coats with Dixie Belle. We are kind of turning this into a multi-use tray. Let's just call it that way. So instead of just being to set in front of the TV um, and have your dinners on, how many of you guys remember TV dinners? And did anybody eat on TV trays when they were younger? In my house, we used to on Friday nights usually, sometimes Saturdays, but most of the time Fridays, um, it would be a big deal to either you know get a Totino's pizza or a um, TV dinner and then you'd be able to, to eat on your TV tray and watch TV at the same time. It was such a cool thing. <laughs> if you remember something like that, if you remember doing something like that, tell me what you ate on your TV tray. Because usually you can remember something special, either a TV show you watched and that's what made it special, or there was a special TV dinner or pot pie or something that you did. All right, so there's little grooves in this because it is wood and we're just filling those in. Anybody asking anything or no. telling us anything? Huh? Tracy said they did Sunday night wonderful world of Disney with eating dinner on TV trays, but it wasn't TV dinners, but just... But eating on the TV trays, yeah. yeah. Oh, the wonderful world of Disney. Okay, you just made me have a flashback too. Thank you. <laughs> We did that too. Oh gosh. Sometimes I'd like it if they still did something like that. It just was kind of a cool way to bring family together on, you know, the week before the school week started. Now, here's a question. So I'm finishing up the second coat here. Would you paint the legs? Everybody's a little different. And my brother actually has, um, that's who this is going to be made for. Shh, don't tell him it's for his birthday. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, the, his kitchen and his house has a lot of natural wood in it. So I'm probably going to leave the legs plain on this so it'll kind of blend with his house. But, um, you know, would you paint them? And what color might you paint them? And what color might you paint a TV tray? All right, I'm going to let this second coat... We're gonna dry it off a little bit, try to speed up the process again, because I need one more coat. Thank you. Okay, so here's a question, and I'm sorry I'm trying to talk over my blow dryer, which is kind of hard when you're just recording on a little device. But one of the questions I have for everybody, have you heard about the new Facebook changes that are happening? If you haven't, you can try to find the information on my page. I tried to share it with everybody. I think it was last week. And some of it's not bad, really. I mean, what they're trying to get back to on Facebook is share. Um, your news feed will primarily go back to being all the information about friends and family. So you will see mostly on your main news feed 
friends and family information. What will disappear is a lot of business pages, pages you're maybe a fan of. Got a little string in there for my for my paintbrush. Alright, there we go. One more coat to go. All right, so we, let's recap really fast and then I'll tell you more about the Facebook thing. So we painted this way first, we painted this way second, and now we're gonna go a third way and we're gonna go this way again. So it's important to alternate your directions for this project. Um, anyway, so your news feed will um, be primarily focused on um, friends and family. So business stuff's gonna be kind of disappearing off your news feed. So that, what that means is, um, say you are a big fan of, we'll use Dixie Bell as an example. If you're a big fan of Dixie Bell paint, you're gonna need to go to their Facebook page to see what they're posting rather than it being on the main page for you to see. So, um, and that would be the same um, of my page too. So if you're a, a fan on my page and you're a follower, thank you. Um, and you will just need to come back to our page. It won't be automatic that these things will just show up on your news feed. So some people like it, some people don't. Um, one of the things you can do if you want to keep seeing things in your main page or your news feed, I'm sorry, is on a page that you follow, um, go to the little following button and then click on it. And then there's a, I believe it's see first is what you can change it to. And if you click that see first button, then it will still show up on your news feed. So that's just a little feedback for you in case you're interested. And if you've been hearing all the hype about it, a lot of people, a lot of businesses are getting kind of nervous about that. And one way that you can all help your favorite businesses stay um, in news feeds, I guess, and, and up is by commenting. They said what they're looking for on Facebook is more social interactions. So when you see any live shows or videos, your comments are actually what generate things to move and your um, sharing. So shares and comments, as we always say when we do these shows, um, are really important because that's what helps keep things moving so you can see them. So little little background on some things that are happening. Now again, normally you want to wait an hour between your coats here. So mine, I might end up needing to do a little sanding to smooth it or something by the time I'm done since I am not doing that. <laughs> but I am drying with a blow dryer. Just means that I definitely am not going to be sealing this guy for a while because I want to make sure it's totally dry before I seal it. All right, there we go. Three coats. So, um... Now what you're gonna do is let that dry completely. So an hour between each coat and then let it dry completely. Um, we're gonna do something else while we're letting this coat dry before we continue on. So let's give it a minute to dry and I will blow dry it. But what this is gonna do, when it's dry, it's going to be, if this is like a chalkboard now. So by doing three coats in different directions, this paint has just become chalkboard paint, which I think is really cool. So let me set this aside for a minute and tell you what you're gonna need to do. So this is another, this is a metal tray that I had redone um, with some, um, and chalkboard painted it up. And what you need to do once it is all dry. Now, depending upon what you're gonna do to the top of it, you may need to wait. Um, and I will be doing some other stuff to the top of the wood one. Um, but just to show you, when that paint dries and you're all done with your project, you need a piece of chalk and then you need to go this direction on a side. Ooh, I do not want to squeak it. I'm so sorry. La, 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 la. And then you're going to go this direction. And you can do it this way if you like. Sometimes they say the side because it covers more surface area. But what the important part is, is you want to get the whole chalkboard covered. Again, everything. Every ounce that you've done. Um, oh, sorry, my daughter's covering her ears like this. Both directions is really important. You can go diagonal, and this is called seasoning your chalkboard. 
So anytime you do any sort of chalkboard painting, chalkboard art craft, whatever you do, you have to season your tray. And why you ask? It's because if I were to just write on the plain paint without doing this, the chalk would stay. It kind of would adhere to the paint. So this is kind of putting a layer of chalk on your TV tray beforehand. And then after you've seasoned it, I will just use a towel, which you can, you just, you're gonna wipe it off. So season it first and then wipe it off and do it everywhere. You know, you want the whole tray to be covered. Um, say you ate something and you spilled, then all you're gonna need to do with that is, you know, you wash it with water and a rag, that doesn't hurt it. You'll wanna season it again though. Again, the more times you season it, just the better it is and then you don't end up with like a permanent word or something stuck in case you write like enjoy or whatever. So again, going along with this while we're waiting for that table to dry a little better, you can, one of the things I love about this that I say you can personalize it, of course, if you are, say, at the Super Bowl, each person can put their name on it if you want. You can give them all a piece of chalk. They can, uh, you know, make football symbols. You can have fun like that. But for kids, I have found that my kids have a good time. You can play tic-tac-toe with it. You can play hangman with it. You know, you can play a bunch of games in it or give them a bunch of colored chalk. And then they can just, you know, draw little pictures on it for you and just have a good time. So when you have that snowy day, that, um, you know, your bad weather day, your snowy day, whatever, you can just give this to them with a bunch of chalk and they can have fun playing with it. So that's why we're chalkboard painting it. So it serves as either something you can write, like, cheese and then put a plate on it and you could put different kinds of cheese on it. You could use it for kids. You could use it for adults during the game. Maybe they're all placing some sort of bets or keeping records about something while they're watching the games. But you're chalkboard painting it so that you can turn it into something more than just a TV tray. So if you like that, send likes and hearts. Please share this again with anybody who might be interested in doing this. All right, so as you can tell, oh, there's another, I wonder if I can get that out. There's another hair in there for my paintbrush. So I will definitely be touching this one up because now I just made a mess. All right, so like I said, an hour dry time between every layer is kind of important so it sticks. Um, if you are not doing a chalkboard tray, once this solidifies, you can leave it and you can leave it as is. So, I'm gonna do a little drying. Not much though, because I just wanna tell you about the rest of what we're gonna be doing. It's got a ways to go and I need to mend the part that had the fuzzy hair that dropped into it for my paintbrush. But now what you get to do is personalize it even more. So you could make stripes, you could make painter's tape on it and change the colors up. You can really do this any way you want. It's just three layers if you're gonna make it into a chalkboard. Otherwise, one to two coats of Dixie Belle. Um, in case you're interested, some people ask me a lot of questions about Dixie Belle paint. So this goes for about, I wanna say it's, oh, I don't know off the top of my head, I wanna say it's like 8.95 is what I wanna say. So say that as a guess. But you get eight ounces in here, and I know that for me, it's very comparable to when I go to the store and I'm gonna buy some acrylic paint, only this stuff's thicker and better and it will go on and it lasts longer. Um, whereas you might have to do more coats of the other stuff. So I think it's a great deal for the price. All right, so this is still wet, but I'll give you the idea of what we're gonna do. So these are just some decals that I bought, and I'm going to then take these decals off, and I'm gonna be sticking them, you know, I could do one in every corner, I could just do the one, I might just do the one, but this is wet, like I said, so I'm not really gonna set this down. You're gonna stick your decal on, your sticker on. It doesn't have to be a stencil. You can use stickers, it's okay. So I'm gonna use the sticker, 
And then what I'm gonna do after I use the sticker is I'm gonna stencil. And I'll probably write the word Broncos, because like I said, this is for sports. So I'm gonna stencil in with the orange Florida paint from Dixie Belle. And if you've never stenciled before, it's really pretty easy. Um, I'll give you a little demo here. Let me set that gently down. So what you're gonna do is, you know, you'll mix up your paint. And then, I'm making a mess out of my table. Um, you're gonna set your stencil down like this. You're gonna dab your little brush and you wanna make sure most of the most of it's off. So you're gonna do that. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tap it on, and you may need more or less, and takes a little bit of practice sometimes. And of course this is wet, that's why I'm having trouble. But you're gonna dab like this, and you're gonna dab over your stencil, and then pull it up. And of course it won't be blue underneath, because mine is still wet. <laughs> but you're gonna dab it and then it will come up and we'll say the stencil letter. So again, I will post all of this after the show. Um, I will finish it up and then tomorrow, hopefully the post will be able to go up. But ultimately, yes. So three coats of paint to make it a chalkboard, one or two if you're not going to. Any color, any shape, any design. Add stickers, stencil it with a name or a team or whatever you want. And then once that is all dry, over the sticker and over the stencil part, you'll probably wanna put a sealer over that section. So I will be using gator hide on mine. I will not be gator hiding the whole thing because I need it to be a chalkboard on the rest of it. So I'll just gator hide up over the stencil and the sticker. Okay, so we've just learned how to use Dixie Belle paint as chalkboard paint. So I hope you like this. Um, please send likes and hearts. Please share this with anybody who might love chalkboard paint or want to know how to chalkboard paint because I'm just doing a TV tray, but you can do cookie sheets. You can do walls. You can do doors. You can do picture frames. The possibilities of chalk paint to make things chalkboard are endless. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial about making things a chalkboard with Dixie Bell paint, and I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.